What is up? I'm Moana Turtle, and today we have another Pokemon 151 opening for our good friend and patron Ty. Uh, but before we get into that, I just want to show some of my own results. So on camera, we did an ETB, and off camera, I did another ETB and two of the binder packs. And this set is tough. This is all I have to show for it. <laughs> a full art Arbuck, a Daisy's Help. So we did get two supporters in the bill and Daisy's Help. The only alt arts we pulled are a Psyduck and an Alakazam. I do really like the Alakazam art. Uh, but then we have a bunch of energies. The energies actually aren't bad. I like that they don't take the reverse slot and they actually have some nice swirls. So I like the hollow patterns. But let's get into the opening. So Ty, we have two ETBs and I gotta find my cardboard cutter. So let's get into it. And best of luck, Ty. Um, yeah, over this long i don't remember when we began 2018 or something like that this long pokemon journey uh ties among many of the you know good friends that we've created over the years and ty did tell me that he um did do a kind of like a sneak peek opening or early opening on whatnot and did pull the secret charizard and based on our polls that's a obviously it's like a home run already but man this set is tough uh, I'm haven't made up my mind, but I think it's fine and it's all about just managing expectations and then whatever If stuff is really hard to pull uh, That just means you know the value will be higher because there's fewer of them and if it's easier to pull You know the market will reflect that so kind of like it, it is what it is kind of thing um, And maybe it's just about managing expectations going into it. This problem looks pretty good. I know Ty's a big fan of Snorlax See if we want to get that graded as well so let's get into our first etb and again really like the the pack art the background and everything i will talk a little bit more about my opinions of the set but um i do want to say that the binder collection thing i think it is worth getting one at you know your local store or something i think they msrp for 25 for four packs uh but for that extra five bucks i do think the binder is pretty worth it and this might be a set that I actually try to do a master set for just because of the binder. If other sets did that, I'd probably be very much more um, enticed to do the same for other sets. So first pack, a Nido King, and um, yeah, the set is so tough. Again, what do we? What I say? Uh, Eighteen plus another eight, twenty-six packs for myself. It's getting close to a box worth, like two thirds of a box, and yeah, there's very little to show for it. So obviously, you know, the more you open, probably the closer you get to whatever the ratio is, which I haven't heard anything about, um, but it seems tough. Uh, you know, definitely very different than like Crown Zenith. All right, there's that Daisy's help. So we got the full art, or for myself, I pulled the full art. All right, first reverse is a Cloister. Graveler into a Mr. Mime. I do really like the arts. So one thing we're going to start talking about is so the set is 165. Ooh, okay, so we got one of these energies. I do like how they have this world. This pattern. Oh, this must have been purpose. This feels like the base set hollow pattern. And I think one of the ones we pulled like a psychic had like two swirls. Like the whole like swirl thing is even going on there. I don't see any here. But um, as far as reverse energies go, I say that this is better than most or if not the best that i've seen in quite a while and i also like I, I think before it would come in the reverse slot which is always like cool but kind of a letdown so i like that it takes the slot of the regular energy all right so we have two two etbs to open today so we are going to skip to the back i mean i just got to figure out a pack trick for this a slow poke into a growlith to a Machamp. Oh, I think there's an alt art. I think it's Machoke. Oh, all, all water energy so far, by the way. Nope, oh, that's a darkness. Just kidding. But I think, yeah, the Machoke. I was looking at the book. That one looked pretty good. The book does feel a little papery, but I uh, can't say that that's really a problem. So it should be four, right? All right, Pidget. All right, so as far as the set goes, some things that are really cool. It's just 151 and then like some the trainers and stuff, but like it's exactly in order of the Pokedex. I think that's really cool. The because of that, so then like the secret rares, the, like the full arts are considered secret rares. I feel like those are pretty big letdown as far as quote unquote secret rares go. 
uh, but then obviously all the alt arts is what we're looking for. The full art supporters are a little meh. All right, we got a Zapdos EX for our first hits. Uh, so it is just the regular Zapdos. It's interesting that of the birds, only Zapdos gets an EX, but um, you know, it's fine. And uh, what are our patrons? Was it fun on the bun maybe? Uh, he signed up for a break. We'll do this in the future. And uh, you're probably, I'm not sure when it'll be posted, but um, he said like, he's, he's, we'll accept Zapdos EX. Uh, I'm not sure if you'll say sir as in referring to me or I'm not sure if that's like the, the new rarity or something but it's like I'll accept Zapdos EX alt art and only that and I thought that was a really funny comment so I was like no pressure but uh you better pull this all right we got a Butterfree Metapod is it gonna be a Caterpie <laughs> a Vile Bloom actually that didn't make sense the order and uh yeah they, people keep telling me you can get these uh god packs so I'll uh I'll believe it when I see it. So yeah, I still think this is a really good set. Again, the difficulty, I think it is, it'll be what it is, but it's just like, you can't expect, you have the right expectations. You can't expect Crown Zenith or like, or, yeah, we'll say Shiny Fates, although that was kind of a pretty bad set. That's like a special set that you could still buy. I think at the Pokemon Center. But as far as like the the number of full arts and stuff like that, or those those things that were it, it's less than definitely like compared to like hidden fates where there's just so many shinies. Um so yeah, I think it's just about expectations. And again, I think this binder is quite good. And um, yeah, I think it'll be fun to do a master set. Jigglypuff into a Dodrio. Ooh, ooh. Guys, this is tough. I think uh, obviously like pulling that, that Charizard is worth celebrating, but now even more so with how difficult this set is to open. All right, last pack of the first ETB. It's looking rough. Staryu, Magneton. Gyarados, oh my. All right, we got a second try, but uh, might have to crack open some additional product for a couple extra packs. Uh, let's see, where's the next ETB? Here we go, Ty. Hopefully, number two is leaps and bounds better. Only one hit and then two reverse energies. This is so tough. gonna open the promo show a picture of that if you want to get it graded running low on space here all right into pack number two I'm not sure if the codes are any different like if there's two different kinds come on give us an alt art please Persian not bad of an art Voltorb into a Venusaur all right we got a Sure, we'll call it a hit. Actually, that's not even. Oh, I'm, I'm not gonna go by secret rare. It's alt art or alt art or bust. Let's be honest. All right, it's more like we got a card worth sleeving. All right, come on. Oh, I thought we had something. Sand slash. I did, oh, Sanchu, like, in the very early show, there was an early episode with Sanchu, where this guy had a really strong Sanchu, and I thought that Pokemon was so, okay. All right, we're on the board. Um, not the probably most sought after one, but I do like the art. It's very unique. You got three Mr. Mimes. I, actually, what is he doing? Like, um, like a hip, hypno thing, but obviously there's nothing there because he's a Mr. Mime. They, man, the alt arts are just so good. So we do have alt art for the oh, oh. <laughs> the, okay, roller coaster emotions. We got a Charizard, another Charizard for you, Ty. Um, not the one that you already have slash the one that you want another, but definitely this opening is heating up. 
and let's just keep improving from there let's take a look at the centering of this mr mime looks pretty good um yeah always a good sign when initial wave of product has good quality i feel like over the past handful of years i felt like the initial wave more often than not had very poor quality which was so frustrating for me because i'm the type of person that'll just get like the initial wave put you in a perfect fit so that we can see it later on so yeah car quality seems good all right now i <laughs> don't have to worry about this being a complete bust but let's keep driving home let's get two alt arts as we did get two etbs Sanchu, there's the Sanchu. very cute fable into a ditto man you know i feel like the just in general the art quality is much higher in this set like if they just made the art a little bigger that's an alt art right there okay let's see okay so just to show what i was talking about you can see like a swirl right here one down here um so as far as reverse energies go this is probably the best i've seen that i can remember although they're not exactly hits but we will always take them all right what we got maybe like six or seven packs left oh that was a good pack mr mime alt art into charizard if only we could flip those around a little bit <laughs> all right horsey into a manky into a dragonite So yeah, really, I really liked how this set was constructed. I don't think you can continue that into other eras. Like they'll just do, they just won't perform. It's not a terrible idea, but it just won't be the same. There's Miss Mime. So if we could have flipped it, we <laughs> hit this guy and then the alt art Charizard. That would have been as good as anyone could have hoped for. All right, four packs remaining for Ty. Eevee, drowsy into a chancy. Oh god, the art is so cute. All right, let's get a big picture card. Three packs remaining. You have to know as far as like the supporters go, I do feel like it's kind of weak. Like, yeah, maybe everyone's excited about Erica, but um, yeah, Bill. I don't care about Bill. Giovanni's always like uh, thought he would be more popular, but he's not. And then I don't even know who that. Daisy person is. Electrode. Two packs left. Once again, Ty, really appreciate you sponsoring this opening. And um, yeah, just thanks for being a patron. And um, yeah, I, I, it came back. It just popped in my head like earlier. I was saying, you know, just among all the people we met. Uh, oh, okay. Oh, fun on a. Is it, I'm pretty sure it was fun. <laughs> like, all right. We. It's possible to replicate this in the, in the, I'm not sure, next video or coming videos. Um, but there we go. I think after, I don't know how I'd rank. Obviously, I, I probably put Charizard up front. And then I'm not sure, Blastoise and Zapdos as far as the main cards to pull. But this is definitely one of them. Man, that looks so good. I do think it's weird that oh, it's only Zapdos. Although that's kind of gives off some base set vibes how they just had Zapdos. I doubt that's why. But man, this art's really good. I feel like it's up there. Obviously, you got all the birds there, so it's reminiscent of the Hidden Fates birds, uh, the tag team. And uh, this one highlights Zapdos a little bit more. I'm trying to think, like, do I think this one or the stained glass is better? Let's just say they're very comparable at this moment. And obviously, that one's going to be much harder to pull. No swirls on this one. Why are we focusing on the energy? So congrats, Ty. This turned out to be, wow, after a real bust of a box one, you know, obviously there's there's going to be absolutely loaded box. We got these God packs, but um, that is by far the best product I've opened so far of this set. Let's take a look at the setting. Please be good. Top, maybe the left border is slightly thicker. The bottom half looks very good. Okay, there we go. All right, I just hope we can replicate this for, I think it was fun on a bun. I'm pretty sure it was fun on a bun. All right, 
Very good opening. We got one pack left. Here we go. Congrats, Ty. Oh, you're killing it with this set. Last pack magic, even though we're already killing it. Growth. And then a Vaporeon. All right, so we did get two great alt arts in Mr. Mime and Zapdos. Congrats, Ty. Thanks for being a patron. Thanks for sponsoring this video. Uh, we have a good amount of breaks more. I'm not sure how much product I can open for myself because I only managed to get so many ETVs. And although, if I had to guess, there's going to be plenty of 151 on store shelves at MSRP for a while. I think the the thing to hold is definitely like the PC ETBs and even the UPCs. My guess is it won't be too hard to get it. Definitely don't spend more than MSRP would be my suggestion. Obviously I could be wrong if it's not printed nearly as much as the Charizard, but my guess is, my suggestion is not to pay over regular price, which is 120. So. Enough of that. Thanks for watching, everyone. I'm Moana Turtle. I'll catch you all next time. Peace.